Hi there, I'm Wizardtastic, and we're going to be learning about the element of art, shape, today in this episode. Now, shape is a two-dimensional object um, that describes a line creating an enclosed space. So if I were to make a line, but continue it and create an enclosed space, that would become a shape. Shapes can be outlines or fully colored in areas. Shapes can be also described as being organic or geometric. So you might have organic shapes and you might have geometric shapes. Organic shapes describe things you might find in nature, such as a puddle, a leaf, a footprint, a dolphin. Whereas geometric shapes are more mathematical and man-made, like triangles, stars, hearts, uh, squares, circles. All those are two-dimensional shapes. Now it's very important that we think of shape as being flat and two-dimensional. Three-dimensional shapes are called forms. So it's different, that's a different element of art. But we're focusing on shape, so the two-dimensional nature of enclosed spaces. So we're gonna head on in and learn a little bit more about shapes and also try creating some artworks inspired by shape. So let's dive on into this episode and make some art. If you're a teacher, make sure you head on over to the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT to find hundreds and hundreds of art lesson plans and resources that you can use in your classroom. They're all easy to use, kid friendly, engaging, and fully prepped so you can say bye bye to the stress and hello to success. Now let's head on in to this episode. Like I said in the beginning, there are two different kinds of shapes. There are geometric shapes, such as triangles, squares, and circles. And there are also organic shapes, such as a leaf, a table, or an apple. Apples are pretty good, delicious. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and create some art in the studio today. We're going to make a silly square as a drawing, and then we're going to create an artwork of a leaf painting in watercolor paints. So grab something to draw with and something to draw on, and let's make some art. All right, let's draw our silly square. Let's grab something to draw with and something to draw on. All right, let's draw our square. So we're going to draw four sides, so one at the top. Two lines down and one across. I always think of the sesame straw and it's hip to be a square, which is a song based off of it's hip to be square. I grew up as a kid, as a baby in the late 80s, early 90s. So that was a cool song then. Anyways. <laughs> We're going to draw some arms. Little ovals on the end. We'll add some little legs with some ovals on the end. We'll add hands. Little dots. And shoes. Some laces. Let's add one small circle and one big circle for eyes. We'll add a pupil in one eye with and a pupil in another. Same sizes. A 
curving line. Being another curving line, we're going to do a tongue. And then we'll add our mouth coming out. And the back of the tongue coming down because it's folded over. Next one up and over. Color in the dark of the mouth. Just like that. Look at that. Silly square. Okay, let's add some dashed lines around the edge. Around the eyes, we'll add some lines for expression. And now you're ready to color it in. It is a square, and now it's silly. Grab your choice of colors and color it in. Leaving a little bit of white for the highlights. Just like that. Oh wait, great, 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 great. Shade your eyes. Silly squirt is done. All right, let's do our leaf painting. We're gonna get our watercolor paper or thick paper, water, and our paintbrush. We're gonna start off with some green. We're gonna add some squared kind of lines. So out, back in. Out, in, in, out, and then leaf point at the top. Okay, so we got a basic leaf shape. We'll add a stem. Now we're going to paint in the leaf leaving a little bit of white around that stem. We're also going to want to try to leave some little blank squares here and there.
now let's add some flavors. We're gonna add some blue in areas. In the shaded areas, we're gonna blend it right on the paper. Shading it with blue. Blue down the center. Okay. Let's add a little bit of black here and there, not a lot. painting wet on wet right now. It's wet paint on wet paper. Okay. Now let's use some yellow and we'll add some highlights. Then I'm going to take white we're going to fill in those white areas. Just like that, your leaf is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.